quiet corruption, the failure of public servants to deliver goods or services paid for by governments, is pervasive in Africa and is having a disproportionate effect on the poor, with long-term consequences for development, according to a New World Bank report. The report, Africa Development Indicators 2010, focuses on the way quiet corruption leads to an increasingly negative expectation of service delivery systems, causing families to ignore them. The ADI report says such corruption is particularly harmful for the poor, who are more vulnerable and more reliant on government services and public systems to satisfy basic needs. Quiet corruption is different from grand corruption, which we read about in the headlines, where a lot of money changes hands. Quiet corruption is the phenomenon where no money changes hands, but poor people are directly affected by the abuse of public power. For instance, when teachers don't show up to work, even though they're getting paid, or fertilizer that is intended for farmers is actually diluted so that the fertilizer doesn't help the farmers and boost their productivity. The report features data and research on quiet corruption in the health, education, and agriculture sectors of African countries, including Nigeria, Kenya, and Uganda. One of the most damaging aspects of quiet corruption in Africa, the report notes, is that it can have long-term consequences. For example, a child denied a proper education because of absentee teachers will suffer in adulthood with low cognitive skills and fewer chances of a good job and good health. The new ADI report also carries data and explanations on why quiet corruption is such a hindrance to achieving African countries' long and short-term development goals. While some solutions are offered, the hope is that shining a light on the problem of quiet corruption will begin a wider debate and hasten the push for solutions. Quiet corruption is very difficult to combat because it is there as a result of political and vested interests that are keeping it there. So the only way you can really combat it is for poor people who are affected by quiet corruption to be able to bring pressure on those po politicians in order to bring about change. And that's what ADI tries to do, is to bring this information out there so that poor people can learn, and everybody can learn, how pervasive, how devastating quiet corruption can be, so that there might be some pressure for change. In addition to the quiet corruption study, the Africa Development Indicators report provides the most detailed collection of data on Africa available in one volume and introduces new survey tools for further research.